Welcome up everyone, it's your boy Sir Tim Ali, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution, the podcast and the movement that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, the power of perspective. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. out the box this morning, the CrossFit box, doing a little workout, getting some sweat on, some stretch on, just getting my body stronger. And a gentleman came up to me and said, hey, you know, I've noticed your t-shirt, I've noticed what you do, so, so tell me about what you do. And we had a very powerful conversation. The conversation went something like this. In his words, he was, well, you know, I'm not too happy right now. I can't seem to quite balance it. I make money, but then I forget about my family. Um, then if I, you know, go and spend time with my family, then I don't make as much money. And what he was talking about was what most high-powered earners go through. And it's not even just high-powered earner. Right? One of the greatest dilemmas that will always be is, am I spending enough time with my loved ones, with my family? Am I giving my family the time and attention because that comes about when we try to work hard, work overtime, make extra money, do extra jobs, pick up extra contracts. And thus this dilemma continually goes in this perpetuating cycle. As I listened to him, he asked questions which were great, such as, you know, like, so, so how do you do it? I'm like, well, how do I do it? You know, how do you have it all? How do you, you know, make great money and also have a good relationship and you know, be in touch with your spirituality and your God. And I listened. And all I said was, perspective creates possibility. Which is principle number two in the 13 principles. Perspective creates possibility. What does that mean? And listening to my friend here at the gym, he said, well, you know, one of my neighbors, you know, he's all about this. You know, I'm going to go full speed and my family better keep up. Now, there's nothing wrong with that perspective. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, if you're that guy that's like, I'm going to make money, I'm going to put a roof over my family's head, I'm going to give them nice clothes, vacations, and and stuff, they just got to keep up with me because I'm going 100 miles an hour. I told my friend, like, that's not right or wrong, that's not good or bad. And he kind of looked at me like, what? Like, yeah, you know, just, just take this on. That's not right or wrong, good or bad. It just is what it is. That's his perspective. Because I could tell my friend didn't really resonate with that message. He doesn't resonate because he's asking me about it. Of course, I'm like, well, that's his perspective. And that's what's true for him. Again, talking about his his neighbor who wants to just work gung-ho, full speed, full blast, full steam ahead. And hopefully his family keeps up. Now, this comes back to principle number four. Clarity is power. So what do you want? I asked my friend, well, what do you want? And he said, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, great. Neither do I. And I don't do that. And so he says, what do you mean by perspective creates possibility? I mean, you know, his neighbor has a perspective. That's all it is. I have a perspective. And my perspective for me creates what's possible. His neighbor has a perspective, which is the truth for his neighbor, which means his family better keep up. But you know, the the real problem with that is it really doesn't work if you want to have a family life. So what does perspective create, creates possibility? What does that mean? I explained to my friend at the gym. I said, well, you know, what if you had a different perspective? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, what if you met people and had a conversation with them, which would allow you to then go into a space of, I now see what is possible because I now can see. The only way he could see it is one of two ways. Number one, have someone speak powerfully about the way that they live about what's possible, how you can truly be in physical shape, great shape. You don't have to be super overweight. And you also don't have to be like this, you know, swimsuit model or this, you know, guy with the six pack abs and let the, unless that's what you want. But you can truly have a great body that's a temple, that's a weapon, that's powerful. At the same time, you could be spiritually connected to your heavenly father, to your God, to your maker. At the same time, yes, at the same time, you could have enriching, fulfilling, deep, meaningful relationships with spouse and children. And at the same time, yes, not one, not two, not three, but four dimensions, you could actually have a very successful, thriving business. 
Only if you had what? A perspective. So the first way is to have someone speak powerfully and so clearly that you could not un- misunderstand. So great would be that individual's words, you could not misunderstand what was possible. And the second way is to get around other people who are living it. Like there's a big difference, let's just take the physical component, between a man or a woman who is extremely healthy, and by healthy, again, I don't mean you gotta look like you've been photoshopped. Simply you feel strong, you work out you know, daily and weekly and monthly and you take care of your body. And you rest and you get the work you need done and you eat good food and greens and water and you, and you just take care of your body because power in, power out. And you get around something like that and you're not healthy, the unhealthy person's going to see something they couldn't see. They're going to feel something they couldn't feel and they're going to hear things they couldn't hear. Why? Because they see someone living it. But you take that in times of by force, someone who lives it physically, someone who lives it spiritually, someone who lives it relationally, and someone who lives it financially and with their business. What would open up if you can, number one, hear someone talk about it and create it so vividly with their language, and number two, you could see it and feel it. What might be possible in your world? My brothers and sisters, this is not just some fantasy or some dream. This is reality. This is a true way of living and a way of being. Now, the only way you would even think that this is possible is what? Is that you would hear my words and then have some faith or belief on it and then have just a desire to try upon the experiment of what I'm telling you. That you truly can have it all. You don't have to be the guy that's like, well, my my family better keep up. And at least I'm giving them a good roof over their head. And at least I'm providing for them. Dude, that is garbage. No man. No woman wants to be on their deathbed and say, look at how many hours I worked. Look look at all the money that I made. Who cares at that point? It's where are the memories? What is the legacy? Did you create power with your relationships? My brothers and sisters, then we come to the question, which is principle number four. What do you want? Right? Principle number four is clarity is power. So once you have perspective about what's possible, because number one, you hear people, I mean, my goodness, go and pick up some powerful books and you'll read about the lives of people who live great lives of contribution and wealth and health, giving, serving, learning, growing, loving. I call it eternal expansion, which is principle number seven. The purpose of existence is eternal expansion and value creation. And you see these people, whether you watch them on TV or you whether you listen to their audio book or you listen to a podcast like this, you start to see what's possible, then, when, then you start to tell the truth, principle one, and get real about what you want, principle four, clarity's power. What do I truly want? I'm shooting this podcast from my vehicle as I'm getting ready to step and jump into the pool with my wife and my children. It's time to go have a little pool time today, but I had some thoughts I wanted to get out. My question for you is, what type of commitment would you have to make? To be able to be around someone like this, to be able to, to learn from someone who could teach you how to have it all. And no, there's, I don't hold the monopoly on this. There's phenomenal men and women out there who teach powerful things that would allow you to live in the manner you want to live. My question is, what type of commitment would you have to make to be able to live this way of having it all, of truly having what I call prosperity? Real prosperity where you're living the life you want to live, where you're creating the value you want to create, where you're getting the dollars that follow the value that you create, where you're making contributions and giving and you know that you're growing and you have meaning in your life. What's the commitment you gotta make, my brothers and sisters? And what's the perspective that you might need to create or get from someone else to give you a possibility? What was once impossible, not even on the radar, is now a possibility. I'm sure cavemen never thought about flying. Maybe they did. But I know today we have possibilities because someone was courageous enough to have the perspective and to choose it, which is prosperity is a choice, principle number three. Brothers and sisters, I'm just diving deep into the principles now because it's about to unleash a movement upon the world which is gonna help men and women to live their greatest version of themselves. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's gonna require you to bury the old you, to bury the old habits, to cut off the habits that hold you back, to confront the things you're not wanting to do or to confront the things you've been avoiding. It's time. The revolution has begun. This is your boy, Satema Lala, reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it will require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day. 
so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised lands, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.